Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Cult of Mac here and Sony's latest PlayStation update has finally arrived, bringing remote play to the Mac and PC for the first time. This awesome new feature allows you to play your favourite PS4 games in a different room or whilst you're away from home. And it's super simple to set up. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Let's get started. Before getting started, you'll need to ensure your PS4 is running the version 3.5 system update. If you haven't already installed that, go do it now. Setting up remote play on a Mac or PC won't work without it. Once that's done, follow these easy steps. Download and install Sony's remote play app for Mac or PC. Then open it. Connect your DualShock 4 controller to your computer by USB. Then sign into your PlayStation account in the remote play app when prompted. Now this is where my PS4 connected automatically, but if it hasn't done already, return to your PS4 and enter the settings menu. Then select remote play connection settings. Select add device, then make a note of the code you are given. Return to your computer and let the remote play tool look for your PS4 by clicking the start button. Enter the code you just obtained when prompted to do so. The remote play app should now connect to your PS4. The time it takes to do this and the in-game experience you get will be determined by the quality of your internet connection. However, you can specify the resolution and frame rate manually. To do this, open the remote play app on your computer again and head over to preferences. Now use the drop down menus in the video quality section to choose between low, standard and high quality at a standard 30 frames per second or high 60 frames per second frame rate. Now enjoy playing PS4 games on your Mac and PC. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, help us out and smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.